Yes, all right, all right, all right. Welcome to Thriving in Abundance Talk. Today it is a Tuesday. Of course, we have our Women's Month special, which is the Marketplace uh, series. There was Ulira Uti Magubenjalo. Change starts from within. We want to see the change in this world during our lifetime. And of course, this afternoon, I'm joined by Miss Nomfundo Oye, who is the CEO of Ebole Group. What a power, power, powerhouse. And of course, uh, before we start, I'd just like to read from the books of Proverbs, verse 16 to 17, which uh, reads as us, she wraps herself in strength, carries herself with confidence, and works hard hard strengthening her arms for the task at hand uh, if the, this does not catch um capture who this uh, wonderful lady is then i don't know what else would uh, miss mtoy welcome thank you very much for having me uh, very uh, good day good day uh, and everyone that is listening and watching this show Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, what an absolute pleasure to have you. You know, uh, my mind just wants to go back and race back to the first time when I met you through a, a, a mutual friend. And you were a teacher, but a driven teacher. Look at where you are right now. And of course, you're going to be telling us more about that as we go along with our conversation this afternoon. Thank you for making time. I know you're actually quite busy. Uh, and so we appreciate that you've made time to be with us this afternoon. Uh, Nofundo Mjoy is an accomplished multi-skilled entrepreneur and community-based uh, 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 builder uh, in, in Guazul Natal. She is the founder and CEO of Ebole to Group, which has got a lot of branches in Wazulu Natal and, of course, in the UK and in Johannesburg. That's uh, the latest edition in Ebole to Group. And, of course, uh, Ms. Mtoi is the chairperson of the South African uh, uh, Funeral Practitioners Association in Wazulu Natal, and she plays a very critical role in their national structure as well. She has won a number of awards, including the prestigious Standard Bank uh, KZN Top Business Women Award. Sisnofundo, a little bit about your background, you know, because it's always good to know who is the person behind the brand. Thank you very much for that. And when you were explaining, it's like you're talking about somebody else, not me. I think you're giving me so much credit. <laughs> but, but to tell you a bit about myself, I was born in Hammersdale in 1975. I grew up in Dawenia Daleni. I matriculated the Hammersdale. I was once at also Albini Girls High um, in Tongweni, but I matriculated in a Sezre, a unit three Hammersdale. Then I did a teacher's diploma for three years uh, in Edward College. I taught for eight years in, as a teacher in Nanda, as well as my OT. So after that, I started my entrepreneur uh, uh, journey uh, with catering because I've always loved catering. But mm -hmm. it's not that I started actually, I think I started when I was still at school. But mm -hmm. then I was more, I had courage to quit teaching and, 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 and go um, into studying, into do, um, doing catering and starting a butchery with my, with my ex-husband in, in Durban. And then from then, I never looked back till um, now, I'm still an entrepreneur. I've run a butchery, I've, I've, I've done it all. I've, now I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in funerals as well. You know, a life of an entrepreneur. <laughs> always, always oozing with ideas. It's just amazing, yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. You know, I remember back then when you started the table and you were like, hey, I'm going to find my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> At some, point, like, <laughs> at some point, I had to explain to the people I used to do catering with, with la, 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 manja, we no longer catering. <laughs> oh, fortunately for me, God has, has, has given me good people. They just switched and all of, out of the blue, they were bearing again. So which yeah. helped me a lot because um, when I started, I started with 
people that knew me before, that people mm -hmm. that, 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 is, that have always supported me in whatever business I was doing. So it was easy to get such a beautiful team and continue working mm -hmm. with when I was starting with it. I didn't just start with new people. Mm. But now tell me, what gives you an idea to get into this um, male-dominated industry? I mean, I remember, I think I once told you this story, but at some point back, uh, there was someone who approached me because they were from Jopek trying to uh, open something like that in case. And I was like, I know, not for me. Thank you so much. I cannot. And then I see you just, uh, you know, just walking into this industry and, um, you know, turning it upside down with the brand, with the branches and just doing things in such an absolutely professional manner. What uh, actually, you know, um, attracted you to this industry? The main thing was opportunity, Zodwa. And I saw an opportunity, I saw a gap. Then I tapped into that gap and I perfected it. Not that I perfected, perfected, I'm still working on perfecting it. Yes. Then I saw those gaps and I said, no, there are there are problems here. What can I yeah. do to, uh, I mean, to, to, to answer to those problems, to solve those problems? Because mm -hmm. uh, being an entrepreneur, it's, uh, it's about identifying opportunities and, okay. and, and offering solutions. I mm -hmm. did that. And with the tablets and everything and all the products, we just, I just uh, designed products that were just solving, uh, that were just solutions for families. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think that's, that's actually very key. You saw an opportunity and yes. you wanted to provide a solution for families. Okay. okay. So then when you got into the industry, what it what, most obviously when you get into a space that has got other players, you need to be looking at a unique selling point. What, what, what were the things that you, when you, when you got into the industry, you identified, but okay, I mean, these are the things that I'm going to do differently so that I'm, I'm visible. Hmm. as you are currently yeah i mean what i did i looked at the industry i said what are the problems within the industry okay one thing when families for example mine was funerals families um they pay for these burial schemes for the rest of their lives for like 10 years 15 years but at the end when there's a death they still have to pay they still have to top up they still have to do those things i said no i'll offer a solution because people, when they join, some, they're just getting a grant. They're paying this money. It's the only thing they have. What can I do to make sure that they don't have to pay extra? But they yeah. know that when they have a policy, they have a, 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 a cover. It, it will cover them. They won't have to add anything. And later, I brought back my catering. Because I saw an opportunity that after, after they've claimed for the funeral, they still need food. They still need tombstones. So when you look at it, our core function is funerals. But we have other businesses related to, to, to funerals because and at a funeral, you still need a, a, a catering, a tombstone. You need all those things. And mm -hmm. I made sure that they get it, they get all of that service under one roof. They don't have to go somewhere else. And you know our people, when there's a dead God, you find them with blankets going around. No, you don't want people to go to go through that, but you just want to offer them a solution. And that is the product I designed. And that same product, it just sets us apart from the rest in our industry and it made us win as well. Absolutely. Okay. So can you maybe just tell us all the divisions? You've already mentioned catering. Uh, you've already mentioned Tom Stones. What else is within the AA2 uh, group? We have a foundation because I care a lot about communities that we serve. It's not about collecting monies from them, but it's about giving back to them. And Absolutely. we have a memorial park. Memori we have Itabole to memorials. We have our first park in Marian Hill um, wow. that we bought. There's another one that's coming with 25,000 graves. We'll be securing a few parks as well because we, wow. we, we look at a need. We look at a, a problem. We are solution providers actually as Itabole to. Um, we, are, we have a loans business that is coming up very, very soon. Um, wow. Yes, um, that, is, that is what we are about actually. Okay, so you've just mentioned this, a, this must be a new addition in the family, the Memorial Park, you know, because yes. obviously there's a challenge currently in our communities of getting space for burials. And there you are, you've come up with this solution. Now there's a new park. Uh, it's, it's, in, it's where? In, in Marani, Marani Hill? Marani Hill, yeah, next to the hospital. 
Oh, okay. Wow. That's amazing. Congratulations. I have to say congratulations to that. And of course, I've been uh, one of the blessed ones that have always been, that have been part of the story of Fixable to every time in December or November, we, you know, put in our best uh, 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 outfits and go to the, to the awards uh, ceremony and the party where you also recognize your employees, which is very mm. important because your people are the most important um, asset in any business. They're but I'm interested. No, absolutely. And you've done that so, you know, meticulously and perfectly well. It's something that I really appreciate and like about you. It's not only about you. It's also about the people that are around you. And it's, I think it's an important uh, thing for all entrepreneurs out there to note. This is why I think you've been one of those that have carried on. It's been now we're on the 11th year. For it's able to group him a ride. Mm. Yes, we are. Amazing journey. What am I Eleven what years amazing of journey. Grace. 11 years of grace. 11 years of grace. Grace and mercy. That's yes. the uh, thing. Grace and mercy. Mm. Tell us a little bit more about the Memorial Park uh, Nomfudo because that's a, a new kid on the block. The Memorial Park, now we are busy with the landscapers because it's been a park that was there before. But now it's under new management. We just need to just try and make it a park. Just like the parks have been to beautiful parks. We just yeah. want to have our own like that. Um, yeah. Once it's done and ready, we will go public about it. But right now, okay. we just said, let us renovate it. Um, okay. It's got about 5,000 graves. It's not a big one. The mm -hmm. bigger one is the one that's coming up. Um, I won't mention the place yet because yeah. um, we're still do busy with rezoning but it has 25,000 graves. It, will, it has a capacity of 25,000. It's just for our clients to make sure that when they are under it's able to roof, they're under good care. They are, we're not just thinking of today, but we're thinking into the future as well. Yes, when you're an entrepreneur, you don't just think about the today, you think about what's going to be happening in the future. And of course, you've got your clients in mind. You know, now just tell me about the, your, what would be the unique skills that you possess that have made you to obviously get into this industry and then do things differently and um, all the things that you've mentioned surely there must be certain skills that you know you possess that keep you going you know that the god prepares you for any for a, for your journey god prepares you when i look yeah. at the story in the bible cigar cigar uh, cigar jesus who Jesus was, 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 was born by an, a, a carpenter because his journey, his goal was actually Spambana. So he had to learn while as a police or a carpenter, he had to get used to carrying wood, wood. Even as a child, Spambana was seen that when they offered to help, he said he was fine because he had been prepared for his journey. So wow. we, need, we need to know God prepares us for all our journeys in our lives. Myself, God made me a school teacher before because he was preparing me that one day I will lead a company that has more than a thousand employees as we speak, as it's able to. And when I grew up, I grew up in Richmond. My grandfather was very strict. He exhorted, even how you open curtains, they have to be. You couldn't just close curtains. You have three quarter plus quarter. No, because that was attention to detail. Even how you pack groceries in your cupboard. My, my grandfather was a judge. You packed it in and got to say, store, lama kama, pegging, ala, everything. There was attention to detail. That is why, man, even our funerals, when you look at them, we attend to detail. We just, we just don't take things anyhow because mm -hmm. attention to detail, I was brought up with it. So it's, so there are a lot of things, and you want to manage the etta in value, etabole, so that I was prepared. Gikula, gik, a bringing yami. When people ask Uti, why no one could tell a young Abu Sain, or Benu Fagama check up kitchen? It's because Givogamina Gikamans in Twalum Com, Xen, Richmondi, go five Xen is calling Alan or seven. I knew because I was being prepared for working hard. Gakula Richmond in a business environment. I was prepared for business. That is why I always tell people, Imala in Clanisi, and Gibonanga Sengim Tala. I grew up Uyona. That is why because it's something that does not move me. Because I was taught very early, Uguti, Lendi Kornaj, Musui Weshipa, it will come to you. 
God will bring it to you. Je, ute ute kingdom come umbusu ya figi imali zofiga enzo kraiti kala. Do not worship money, but just Amen. do the right thing, and then imali izoglande. I'm reminded in one of your 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 uh, celebration dinners where ubaba um um shonisha um kize when when he he was offering a word there and encouraging us. Um, I mean, I was you know quite moved by his offering that day, and you could see that this is what happened when also everything that you do. Uh, is uh, led by God. It's not just you, not by might, not by power, but by your spirit. And you've been such a good example um, of that. So here we are now at uh, COVID times. My goodness, uh, you know, the world is, is upside down. Uh, most people don't know whether they are coming or whether they are going. But I would imagine that with you guys, it's obviously slightly different because sad mm -hmm. as it is, but you guys are very busy, you know, um, with the unfortunate situation that we're finding ourselves in the world currently. And how are you coping with this time? You know, Zodra, a COVID time, let's say you're on this lockdown time, it's a make or break. It's either you make something out of yourself or you let it break you. So for us as a brand, we've, we are essential providers. So we've never closed offices. We've always been working. But among from that, I'm even writing a book because I decided that I'll make something good out of it. I won't just let e COVID, e -E -E COVID and all this break me. But everyone out there, let's make something good out of it. I believe it's time where God wanted everyone who agabe yetwa. Everyone, I phone. Every, I get hung at manjengale lockdown as long as it's cut. We always in life, we always complain about time. If yes. there were shops that were selling time, they would be very rich because time is what people don't have. But right yes. now, with us, we had enough time. There's no one who will complain that I did not have time to do something. Do the best mm -hmm. out of the time that you that God has allowed you to sit on your own during this COVID. But I would not. Um, uh, say it, 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 it's easy. It's not easy. Isn't the good things that don't come out easy sometimes. I have beautiful kids. When I gave birth to them, it was not easy, but something good came out. So mm -hmm. we must just make sure, Wuti. The work, everything. If if do something. Do something with your life because because it causes a lot of depression. I've seen in our industry, the people we bury, I've seen a nine-year-old commit suicide during this lockdown, which was very sad um, because people are depressed. But yes, they, if people in South Africa, what happens in other countries, how blessed we are in South Africa, they would, they would be uh, encouraged to work more. In South Africa, we have land, we have plenty of land. Go to places like Singapore, Hong Kong, Aba Naindao, Batalema Fletini, or 35 stories. It don't make Pugi live to Yabonu Ufana Nubai. So, Tina, we are so blessed, but we are still complaining. COVID must, is not here to break us or finish us, but it must make us into better people. Uibuzu Guti, before COVID, Bengila, Gigupi Manj. Zod, I'm telling you, I'm writing a cookbook. I never thought I would. I would do that. It's always been my dream. The book will come very in a few months. The book will come out. It's a beautiful thing. I decided to make something good out of a very bad situation. From lemon, you must make lemonade. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Lemon to lemonade. And I know you, you are a good cook. I'm one of those people that have had the pleasure of tasting. <laughs> you know, and you know, I think the one thing also that's very key and critical that you mentioned is that you know, it's challenge. How? What's up? But because you want to do something, and of course, the black book, something has, uh, uh, you know, there's a thought, there is something that mm. she's decided to us. And, you know, this, this cookbook, I suppose it's been, you know, a wonderful experience. So you, I remember when I saw you posting the, the pots uh, and I was like, yes. ah, I have <laughs> actually even made a comment. I was like, I know something is good is coming out of this pot. <laughs> I might not know what it is, but I know what 
something that's going to be absolutely amazing. Tell us a little bit more about um, that, that project as well that you are you're working on currently. The book is it's not just going to be a, a normal cookbook. Zoto. I just wanted the book uh, to have all the recipes, the food that I love as a nomfundo, that I cook as a nomfundo, my recipes, my beautiful recipes. But I just want to uh, incorporate in the book the part, the journey, my business, the journey towards building my business as a global agent. The journey, everything I've been through, the, 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 you know, the highs and lows, everything that is so the people think it's easy they look at non they look at it go oh they're doing so well hey they have everything no they must know it, it wasn't easy but it was worth it and through that book i want to share a, a lot of experiences and a lot of advice to business people i want to teach women with you can't be a ceo of a group and be a mother and be cooking and be a family and be you can balance life actually that is what the book is about. Not just a normal cookbook. You know, those books with, with big names of, of menus. No, no, no. That one, I, I wanted mine to be simple because some books can be very intimidating. You think, oh God, I, I wonder what it is. They will say a big word, can it's a potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> but when you read that word, hey, it says, uh, it's a, just a big Italian Blush. word and you think it's something else. Goulash, beef goulash. Ah, oh, beef card. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. You also mentioned something which I think is critical and it's a challenge for most of us as business women and actually business people as it were, balance, how you balance your family yes. life and your work life. Because you see, there's, 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 there's uh, kids, there's business, there's extended family, you know, and there's friends and you have to make time for all these things. How, how, yeah. how do you handle that? I handle that very well because to me, Zoto, first, I come first to myself. My happiness counts for everything. Before, yeah. my, before everybody else, I have to be happy as a Numfundo, not just mm. please people. Besides God, after God, it's Numfundo. Yeah. And I make sure that once my kids are happy, the, the business is booming, it's going okay, and my friends are fine, you find balance, but you can't just give more towards, I mean, more towards one of these things. It, it, mm -hmm. There has to be a balance. The kids have to be okay. You must know that after those kids, once they are like 20, 21, 25, you're out of their lives. So okay. you must make sure after them, there is a life that you have. So you can neglect everything. And business and health as well, because there's something we neglect as business people, being healthy. Being unhealthy is, is very wrong because you would work in this business, end up being unhealthy and die early without even spending the money you've been working for for the rest of your life. So I do find time to walk on the treadmill in the mornings. I still find time to, to do everything because you've got to be happy at the end of the day. And the body you live in has got to be happy as well. Absolutely, absolutely. That's, a, that's amazing. Physical um, mental, emotional, and spiritual health. That those yeah. are the very important things that um, will keep us going if you make sure that there's a, a good balance. You know, can you actually, I know that you are quite, are uh, you spiritual? Um, yes. And tell us about, you've already mentioned that it's God first, because mm. you have to love God, love yourself. Then it's easy to love your neighbor and everybody else, mm. but it has to mm. start with loving God first, something that I also subscribe to. Can mm. you tell us about your spiritual journey? You know, I, I always say I was very clear. I was very happy and lucky in life to, to, to join Mount Zion Christian Center because um, there was a time in my life where I thought my life was finished. But the day I entered into the church and God and gave my life to God, it was the beginning of my life. It was the beginning of things you see today. So the Ibundis, so the teachings, the spiritual, uh, everything, the spiritual side of the church um, yeah. that I found in the church has led me to the person that I am today. Omunyuzati, why are you so strong, Nomfundo? It's because the strength, where I, where I draw my strength, it's a very, I draw my strength from Ispetu, Ispetu Sengashi, Esichulega Kulu, my church, God, because I, I learned a lot of things, Uti. 
no no my in ngenzayo i cannot just do things on my own imana yagcina ngo israel but you work hard and you bring in god you make god the center of everything and ngulungulu yeah. will always lead you he will never leave you and that is what i followed and look at me today i'm i'm i'm, I'm leading a very uh, a, 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 a growing and successful business that is led by god because i don't want to lie it's always been God from the beginning. Fire. The agenda is, has always been straight, has always been clear. And it will remain like that for generations to come. Because we've seen God within this business. We've seen, I've seen God in my life with my kids. When it comes to God, I become very emotional. Who's a pretty cat? <laughs> Preach. <laughs> but I think the message is clear. The day I accepted Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as my personal savior, everything changed in my life. Amen. And everything mm -hmm. that you see now that has culminated into its able to group is because we've put God at the center of yes. everything. Yes, and in Dogan Zoto, I pay when people yeah. God, you you knock on a single door, he will open a sliding door for you because and Angazungatini, he 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 abandons in the Gulungul. Driving in abundance. Yes, driving in abundance. So the Ungulungulu, who knows in Dominica, I could like a look at his own and in five years at Tabulet. Gafiga amounts I only Gazan and Gazan and Gulungul and Gazan got called on Don Gulungul. It was we one with Tabulet. Gafia, I think what we're going to branch a yard at the time, Gizu, Bani is two. But since yeah. then, Zodwa, things I had planned for five years, they happened in two years, three years, sooner. And people, Abba Fundile, that went to business school, but I know this cannot happen. But because I was asking a God of abundance who just. Hallelujah. They've, they've said so many things. <laughs> 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 the boys. <laughs> the boys. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been mentioning oh. the boys. Having everything. But yes. I, yeah. I don't yeah. believe my yeah. boys. Yeah. I yeah, Amanda, 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 oh Amanda, Amanda, Gamoyo, Ingwele. I think people need to understand <laughs> the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is something that works. It, it works for us, no wonder. It works mm -hmm. for me. It can work for you as well. Maybe you should actually consider trying it. No wonder. A lot of people are always complaining that women can't work with women. Women can't support each other. They can't support one another because we are always is competing with one another mm -hmm. but i see mm -hmm. you that um i think in your executive you've got a few women that are part of your mm -hmm. team and i see you empowering your friends left right and center and 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 how how are you how are you doing that or what would be the advice for to other people that maybe struggle with that um issue of competing when they are meant to complement i even tumble and don't show us all because um, you find women uh, bringing down other women, and it's very sad. But mm -hmm. what I do, Mina, I respect every employee that, that we have. And what I've realized within women, we work better because we are hard workers as women. Women, and I've seen women, Mina. Women and now the, the team that I have even presently eh, is a very strong team. My whole mama, they've been through it all. And Kuluminga Ngaban Beslisa, but shame Nabo Barai, Sikota, Kosiam, Kuba Konalo, to book Abang to Mutuasli, so Mama Uma Fosha, in the Vulag Valley, in Bogot, in the Nanyagazi, Mutus Fazan. So yeah. you just need to eh, Useben Zegashi Nabo. And also, my approach that helps me. I'm not a dictator at work. I let everybody uh, make decisions. Whatever decisions we have, we come together. Sitale Song City, here's a problem. How do we solve it? How do we, how do we apply this one? How do we do this? I don't just come and say, la, 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 la,
No, I present the problem, guys. We have to just rule out eight. Put the problem eight. Kusho bo na inga yagas rule out seven because mm. you must let people allow people to lead, allow people to 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 show their experiences. Na bo unga unga matu in the zeal abandu se mungo ba na bo ba na bo kushle oguni oguni some yes. get abafan, abanye baba na go tell there will always be those, but mainly I am called to come down at and I'm a very bad boss to women. No, no, no. Kabe no call a gang since call a bus kuzi in doing English. Absolutely, absolutely. I can attest to that. So it's a collaborative effort. It's a collaborative effort. I can, I mean, also in our industry, at least it's uh, largely dominated by women. So you're likely, when you have a business like mine, you are likely to have a lot of women that are part of your team. And the key thing is allowing everybody to lead in whatever that yeah. they are doing. You know, if you are at reception, lead that area. If you are cleaning, lead in that area. So what you are saying, I think is very key. And on supporting one another with other women now, that might not necessarily be within your group, you know, that are outside, the, just generally business women. How best can we support one another? We have to support each other at all times. Don't let, Zota, you must know which when you support someone, not that you're expecting anything, but know that you are banking for yourself in the future. That person will help you one day. We cannot shy away with it. But supporting other people and bringing out the best in them, it is God's work. But he will send other he will send people like yourself, like any other business, to raise other people. To, 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 to support them, their talent, and any other thing. So the more we support, the more God will bless you. Absolutely, absolutely. That's quite a mouthful. And I know that you've started to pay it forward with the Rota girls. Uh, tell us a little yeah. bit more about that, boss. That's our future. It's important that we empower the young uh, women who are going to be leaders in the future. Tell us a bit about the Rota girls program. Mm. The Black Book says, Zalanani uh, Nande, when God speaks about that, he does not say, but he was saying, make more nomfundos. <laughs> Before how many nomfundos have I converted? How many nomfundos have I made ready for the next generation? Mm -hmm. uh, they are told, they we are told they are very rich because they have a lot of talent a lot of uh, ideas that are alele la pimatuni. Anga za anga za shie lok obanyabantu. If people multiply those by teaching other people, the world will be a rich uh, world. So yeah. it's very important. Through Rhoda Girls, I'm enriching, I'm empowering young girls, young women. Ugutibanga ti, tina ogwe tu kala spega ban best lisa, but God has, 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 has created us to be more than that. But was we male, it's about bringing the best out of those girls, making sure we nurture them and grow them into complete women. Because there are women that grow up to just get married and have men in their lives, and that's it. Women, as we time, I'm telling you, they're not male. They go right. Can I do crime? I was again. I was again. I won't get embarrassed. That is, those are women you need to grow. But with umshato, it's something just to add on top. But it's a cherry on top, but it's not what they live. It's not a goal in their lives. Absolutely, absolutely. It is a cherry on top, but it's important for all uh, females, especially young women, to know that they can do these things for themselves. Yeah. Okay, let me quickly go to our Facebook page because we are indeed live on Facebook. Just to check if we've got questions before I let you go. I know that you have another meeting <laughs> that you have to rush into and we appreciate that you gave us time. Uh, this afternoon, El Spongile says, do you have a mentor? And how important is mentorship in business? My mentor has always been my grandfather and my grandmother. Uh, my grandfather who managed to build a, a business. But he ended up with a mall. My grandmother, I learned perseverance and support the way she supported her husband and the consistency there's a lot of things I learned from my grandmother uh, in terms of business um manje I've always looked at bigger companies just to uh, uh, look at where I want to be just to benchmark ourselves 
Parting and get Gasabu singing, calling Buga Kulabanya Bango Bangzovala Bay corner. I always say, The sky is the limit. God, I serve a God of abundance. Let, let God take it, take this business to where it is. But mm. being guided by Gegotua uh, regulations and everything, having a, a good strategy, actually. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Spongile, I hope you've got it there. First, it was at home with the grandparents. And of course, now looking at the bigger companies that are doing what she does just to inspire herself. Um, and then Lapa, it's a, it's a comment from Munawaz who says she can attest to that, that um, you empower friends, family, and of course, you, you are a true leader. And Lubusi Lapa is saying, God prepares you for yes. your journey. <laughs> indeed, yes. I can also attest to that, that God does indeed prepare you uh, for your journey. No wonder, thank you so much for spending time with us. I'd just like you to give us um, your parting shot. Buti. What is it that you would advise a, a, a young, maybe female, because it's a, um, a, a, a Women's Month special that we are, we are handling here, who wants to start a business now? And um, they are looking at this time of COVID and thinking, uh, will I ever be able to do it? Will everything come together? You know, and all the questions and doubts that would be in their minds. What, what, what sort of advice would, would you give to, to young people that want to venture into any business for that matter? Because I think mm. the principles are the same. Mm. Okay, one, uh, if they want to start business, if they're starting it for money, they must just forget. Money must not be the drive. Money must not, must not be the reason to start a business. Not at all. It must not be the goal. The, the money must just be the, um, a cherry on top, but it must be a strong business uh, that will, they must leave legacies, a business that, that you will be there in 10 years, 20 years. Um, yeah. For me, that's, uh, that's very important. And maybe mm -hmm. let me not just talk about COVID, only beyond COVID. COVID yeah. will, 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 will come and go. But whenever you do business, don't do it for money at all. And also identify the business and have capital to do the business. It's not always the time that we have to go and knock at the bank. Myself, yeah. it's a bullet the way it is. I've never had a loan. I don't do loans. Um, it, 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 it's got um, organic growth. It, it, yes, that's what it is. And also, we need to understand, Carl, I, as Guti, am I really a business person? Because some people are not meant to be business people, but they would go into business, be ready for it. Do I have the qualities of being a businessman? For example, I would have a driver, M17, who's just a driver that's driving our hairs. I'm going to be a to order the next, the follow three months later to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to skill, so I'm going to skill, so I'm going to then problems would come. Sexy one as fast, the eight columns are not like a can get into this city prematurely and without the qualities of being a business person. So, you must have qualities. Some will not be business people, but they will support businesses into being a prosperous businesses. As a Wenza, Umeslugo, but Angvimela band would be full of my business. We should be sure what you are the business type. Are you a business person or are you a number two in a certain business? Because you can be a number two and still be successful, but not be the number one in the business. But your song you always want number one, and it ends up hurting us and hurting other people as well. Wow. <laughs> That's quite a mouthful. And I can actually recall in one of your functions when you're um, very capable, very educated uh, COO mentioned that uh, he is number two. And he yes. is comfortable being number two mm. because he knows that he can play out her role much better and effectively as a support system to you. So mm. I think that's very, very important advice oh, that you've given us. Uh, uh, and of course, you can still be successful even at that level. You need to know yourself, to know what mm. where exactly would you fit in in any uh, puzzle or any business for that for, for that matter which is your go-to verse in the in, in our ancient book mm -hmm. that guides us the bible yes which verse do you like the most oh <laughs> it's deuteronomy <laughs> um uh, 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 
Where am I from? 28. Yeah. That's why to 14. Where All God right. says, I'll never be the tail, but I will <laughs> always be the head. I will be blessed coming in and blessed coming out. In, a, in, in my house, in my business, you will enter at the door, you will find the Bible with that yeah. verse open. Hallelujah. <laughs> Not a tail, but a head, blessed coming in, blessed going out. And of course, <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I actually picked up for you uh, just for today's show, uh, Amahubo 46 verse 5, God is within her. She shall not be moved. God will help her at dawn. We've just, it's been amazing to see you growing because I was there from year one. We are yeah. now in year 11 and it's just been an absolute, absolute pleasure to see you taking this business from one uh, uh, um, branch, as you were saying, to now a lot of branches in Wazulu Natal and to now a branch in the UK. We're now going into Johannesburg. So it is just amazing, amazing. Uh, Nofundo, thank you so much for spending time with us this afternoon. And we just would like to wish you everything of the best. Um, you know, and I just have a feeling that there is more. <laughs> because you've already told us that you are serving a God of abundance. And I just Amen. have a feeling right now that there is just a whole lot more that is still coming for you because as you rightfully say you don't want to be resting there in one of your memorial parks with <laughs> a, a lot of potential you know Miles Monroe actually writes about this in one of his books that cemeteries are one of the richest places because mm. people die with a lot of potential not having exactly. lived in their papers so I would mm. just like to encourage our viewers right now to say whether you're viewing us live now or later mm. Find your purpose in life because when you found yes. your purpose, it's easy for you to do these things and you are focused. You ask God to guide you to, to, to uh, uh, you know, that there's always light wherever you go and in whatever you are doing. Um, we are excited uh, for the things that are still coming up uh, for you, Sister Fundo. And of course, we're looking for, I look forward to reading that book. Yay! I'm going to be looking at competitions so that maybe I can win. <laughs> <laughs> so that maybe I can win <laughs> a copy of the book. So we really appreciate yeah. you uh, spending time with us. And I do know that you're now going to be going back to one of the meetings that are assisting the industry, you know, to develop and grow the industry that you guys operate in. You know, professionalism is very important. And I think currently there are quite a number of challenges that you could also be faced with. So as the chairperson of the KZN branch of the association, I think it's important that you lead, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the group, um, appropriately and effectively but yes. we do appreciate you taking time to spend with us and would like to wish you everything of the best uh, i'd like to uh, appreciate your team that has assisted us uh, with making sure that you come to this show and of course my team at Econo thrive global with Ubusi shabalala being the producer of the show my name is uh, zotwa msimanga koche umansibande uh, signing out on the uh, uh, Thriving in Abundance talk. It is a special series, your marketplace uh, celebrating Women's Month. Thank you. Love you so much, uh, Sister Thank Wami. You. Abundance, abundance. That's the Thank word. You. That's the word. <laughs> Thank you All so much. Best. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Thank you. <laughs>